sorry, I had uh, to go see Maddie and I'm actually thinking that this is going to be two videos because I've rambled on so long. So, I'm going to talk about what you all want to know, which is what I eat um, in typical day. I don't, I'm a very good cook, so I don't tend to make anything fussy. In fact, it's all, has to all be fuss free because otherwise I won't bother making it. I'm very good at heating things up. I'm not so good at anything else. So one thing I do try and do is I try it at the beginning of the week, although I'm a very bad meal prepper, as in I might do it one week and then I won't do it for like six weeks and then I'll try again at meal prepping. But what I always try and do is write a list, according to what I've bought in on the food shopping that week, I write a list of meals or snacks, either one, where, <coughs> where that are super quick, super easy, that will be made in about three minutes or less, that I can look to so that when it's lunchtime, when lunchtime has snuck up on me and I think, right, I've got this really small window of opportunity to eat something, I really can't be bothered to cook, so the, the part of me that is not very disciplined will start to say, oh, well, I'll just grab a packet of the baby's crisps and eat that because I haven't got time to cook anything. Or it will say, I haven't got time to cook anything and I don't want to eat junk food from the kids' cupboard, so I won't eat anything at all. Neither of these things are any good for weight loss or muscle gain or fitness or health, neither option. I refer to this list, I have this list that will say, give me about 10 ideas, very, very quick ideas that will remind me that there are plenty of no fuss things I can eat. So, uh, some of the examples of the things I eat in a typical day. When I was in calorie deficit, I generally had um, three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe one snack. But my snack wasn't a great snack, to be fair, it wasn't. Um, so breakfast, even now, is always porridge, uh, usually with a big spoonful of peanut butter, big spoonful of honey. Uh, I make it twice as big now as it should be because it's my favourite meal of the day, so I go all out and I don't mind this one bit. Um, one of the biggest changes that has come from using the help guides and doing BBG and listening to all of your stories on Instagram with regards to eating is I've really, really got a much better concept of portion size in all my foods apart from breakfast and breakfast will stay big because I'm always starving in the morning and it really kicks off my day the right way especially after a big BBG workout so I always have porridge usually have fruit as well on top of it might sprinkle in some chia seeds or chia seeds I don't know how you say it but chia seeds um usually has like frozen blueberries or I might have strawberries but yeah just it's the same thing every single day um and very rarely ever changes apart from toppings um, lunch is usually something quick and easy, like I said, because lunch is always the thing that I will skip. If I give myself an opportunity to skip it or tell myself I haven't got time to make it, that's what will go. Um, snacks, always got time for snacks. Lunch, not so much. So lunch, I've learned that I can shove a sweet potato in the microwave, just stab it all over, shove that in the microwave for a few minutes, depending on the size of it you know, I would say eight minutes is a good example, and then I just mix up a tin of tuna and hummus for a topping instead, and then it's like a healthy version of um, jacket potato with tuna mayo. Um, always have um, ingredients for chicken salad, uh, and I don't, I don't make the chicken, I will buy um, fresh, ready-cooked chicken that can just be torn up and chucked in a salad with an avocado. Uh, avocado toast, Obviously, always a favourite, super easy. A bit of chilli flakes and a bit of um, sea salt. I, that's one of my, I could eat that every day. Um, <clears throat> also love to do scrambled eggs, is super quick. Scrambled egg with smoked salmon or scrambled egg on toast with some spinach. That's really good, or some chopped tomatoes or something like that. Uh, omelette, uh, my omelettes never come out looking good, which is why you never see them on Instagram because they end up looking more like scrambled egg than an omelette, but omelettes with um, ham and tomato or a sprinkle of cheese and onion or chicken and broccoli or something, whatever I've got. I always have frozen broccoli, frozen corn, frozen chopped onion, frozen, uh, anything vegetable wise that's frozen and pre-chopped, you will find in my freezer. 
because although it would be much better if I had all of that fresh in the fridge, there are times when you just need to chuck a handful of frozen chopped onion into your pan because if you had to actually physically chop the onion, you wouldn't bother eating. So it's all about convenience. Um, what else do I like uh, for lunch? Um, love uh, as a snack now, wholemeal rice cakes with peanut butter and banana, or if you want to do savory hummus and some chopped tomato and spinach, or you can use like ribitas or something like that. Love that. Um, I make a lot of sandwiches still, whether it's with just like a um, wholemeal bread, a rye bread, or with a wrap, like a wholemeal wrap. Um, and that will just have like regular fillings like chicken, chicken avocado um, or chicken avocado and hummus is actually really nice but it's like super like just literally get the ingredients out of your fridge and you make it it's like no no bother whatsoever very rarely will I ever ever cook um, a lunch which it makes sound bad but I've had to accept my shortcomings and work with them so that's what happens um dinner um i try really hard to make us all eat as a family because i love family meal times so they're always generally family favorites but just super simple and um whereas the kids might have it with fries or ch like chips one night that i'll probably have it with a side salad or with a load of greens um or uh i like it with like couscous or quinoa or um, something like that. Everything I buy is from the supermarket. I don't order anything in specially. Um, you know, you can find everything you want in the local supermarket now. Like, I've just discovered, um, uh, oh, what's it called? It's a vegetable and you make lasagna and they make lasagna sheets out of it now. Because I love a lasagna. Um, but obviously the normal, the pasta sheets are just normally egg pasta sheets. Whereas, um, these are butternut squash, that's it. Butternut squash um, pasta sheets, like, amazing. And the same for, like, you've got all the courgette and the sweet potato noodles. So always have things like that that are just easy. You just literally take three minutes to cook. Chickpea pasta is a new favourite. Takes three minutes. So if, if I want pasta for lunch, um, like with, which I love with just a pesto, um, that takes three minutes to make, so that's a really good one. And it literally, the ingredients were just chickpeas and water, and it, it, it tasted like, and it had the same consistency as like fusilli pasta, so that was really good. But anyway, dinner I'm just talking about. So, my staple dinners is clean, lean spaghetti bolognese made with turkey mince, clean, lean chili, funnily enough, made with turkey mince. Seeing a theme here. Just we'll have like um, chicken grilled or baked with um, like some kind of seasoning. I really like fajita seasoning, fajita seasoning or like a paprika one. Uh, James likes a barbecue one. Um, and as I said, just loads of different sides so everyone can, we can all essentially eat the same meal but you can just pick what we want to have it with and I'll, that's an easy way for me to always have it with um, uh, healthy options. Um, and uh, love, we love all the Mexican foods in this house. Enchiladas I'll do as a treat because I really like the um, proper like cheesy gooey process. Well not process but you know you buy the, the, the Mexican enchilada kits and I'm pretty sure the sauce is full of sugar. But still we have that as a treat but if we're doing um, healthy Mexican foods, I stick with burritos and fajitas. It's, they're both amazing options because I can just chuck all the ingredients on the table and people can make up their own fajitas how they like them. So there'll be loads of different kinds of beans, um, uh, wholemeal, um, wholemeal basmati rice, there'll be um, salady things, cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, um, cheese, uh, guacamole which I will occasionally try and make um, from scratch with, but I do a very bad job as in I have like no ingredients in it it's just like literally mashed up avocado and like lime um, so sometimes I'll just buy a guac and just roll with it um, and yeah so we'll, we'll eat 
that everyone loves a nice piece of fish and I always have my fish with um, a salad. I love fish and salads, but obviously the kids are still do Friday night fish and chips. Um, what else do, can I cook for dinner? Scrape in the barrel a bit. No. Oh, stir fry. Love stir fry. Takes 15 minutes or less to um, cook. Um, and generally I'll just do um, a stir fry with a soy sauce. Um, and what else? Um, I think that's about it for dinners. I could be wrong. I think that's all I can think of for dinners. But yeah, generally I tend to just rotate all my favourite meals over and over and over again. And I'm just very thankful that I live with a family who also enjoy those things. So... Yeah, that's good. Oh, I will show you. I am really enjoying this right now as well. This is my new thing for food because I'm not a very good cook. Uh, I I do really like this one, which is the uh, Lean In 15 Joe Wicks one. And as you can see, all my post-it notes indicate all the recipes that I like and use. And there's a lot of them. So it was well worth it. I think it cost me £8. And it was well worth it because... Um, generally if I'm going to cook something from a recipe it has to follow one of two things either has um, less than five ingredients in it otherwise I won't cook it or it has to take less than 15 minutes to cook or I won't cook it so um, this was a good purchase um, and they do things like um, like a super simple like curried fried rice which was amazing um, and James loves um, chori chorizo so, and there's a couple of really good like Spanishy um, meals in there. So I don't I don't find this too difficult. Um, so I have been experimenting with some of those for dinners because uh, they're super quick. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, in terms of how much I eat and what I choose to eat when and how I plan my meals out, truthfully I don't. I told you I eat um, intuitively. So what generally tends to happen is I eat what I feel like eating, but I will preface that with saying I have very well stocked fridge and cupboards normally that are full of um, things that are going to set me up for success. So there's very few junky things in my house. The kids do have their cupboard, but I try to make sure I buy the stuff that is specifically aimed at kids that's got cartoons faces all over it so that it makes me feel super bad if I am going to pinch one of their packets of crisps or something like that. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it does, but I feel bad about it because it's clearly a children's product, not a mainstream product. Um, but generally, everything in my house is to set me up for success, so it's just about what do I fancy eating at that particular time and I will go with it. If it gets towards the end of the day, and protein obviously is my biggest concern because I do want to feed my muscles, I do want to sculpt a athletic body if I can from home which it can be challenging so protein's um, a big priority for me so if I get to the end of the day and I think oh I really have not eaten a lot of meat or anything with protein in it I will probably add in a second protein shake in the evening it's not ideal and I'm not suggesting anyone ever replace a meal with a protein shake or substitute real food with a protein shake but for convenience it's great and it has helped me tremendously reach some protein goals. Not that my goal is a numerical goal, um, I have no idea what but I just in terms of me trying to look at my day as a whole, look at what I've eaten and think and there's been very little protein in that day apart from my earlier protein shake and apart from say probably the one chicken dinner that I had that day or the one like omelette I had, I will add in another protein shake. I have made lists of things with protein in and I'll go through phases where I'm excellent with getting my protein from food but unfortunately it doesn't, I can never sustain it. So on the periods where I'm not being that great with protein, I will use supplements to do that for me. Um, and or similarly, um, I'll also probably once every few weeks look at how much natural sugar and healthy fats I'm including in my diet because I, 
I will take away all the um, refined sugar and start adding in natural sugars and I'll just add more and more and more and it will creep up on me and then I will start to not necessarily feel so lean or I'll start to sort of feel like my jeans are a little bit tighter and I will seriously then assess is this coming from gains or is it coming because I'm now putting three tablespoons of honey in my tea and I will look at how many cups of tea I'm having because if I'm putting a tablespoon, even just a tablespoon, ta teaspoon of honey in my tea, if I'm having 10 cups of tea a day, which sometimes happens, that's still a lot of sugar. So it will either be I have to stop putting the honey in my tea or I have to have less cups of tea and then have more say like herbal teas where I don't need to put a sweetener in them. Um, so it's just, I monitor it, I will reassess it, I will, I'm very honest with myself, which has been the greatest blessing from doing BBG, because quite frankly, I used to lie to myself all the time about what I was doing, it's like, you know, doing that stupid, um, cup of tea diet that I told you about, where I just drank black tea, uh, I thought that was like me literally not giving myself anything to eat but I was still putting three sugars in my tea and it's like stupid denial like that is not a healthy way to live yet yeah, I thought that was like the solution to losing weight it's so stupid um so I try to be really really honest with myself because I think I'm able to do that now because I'm finally in a place where I will know I won't punish myself if I think I've done it wrong. If I think I've had a bad day or a bad week with eating, I don't punish myself the next week and make myself do double the workouts or eat less. I just aim for a tip-top week, like a normal week. That's You, you don't comp overcompensate by having less. You just get straight back on track with what you should be eating. Um, you know, and... I have to think that my metabolism generally is good from all the training and from all the good food sources um, and the addition of supplements uh, and the fact that I eat really regularly through the day. Um, in terms of snacks, what do I snack on? I have some chocolate every single day, um, whether that's like four small squares of dark chocolate or a chocolate protein bar. Um, I probably have a piece of cake every single week, um, two if I'm with my mum, well it's probably two anyway, but cakes, I, it's my thing, I couldn't, li I couldn't live without it, so why would you choose to? Um, and snacks, I love Thea Greek yogurt with any kind of fruit in it, and again just love honey, sprinkle of cinnamon tastes great um also really actually really like that with um a load of muesli or granola if it's like a good granola like a healthy granola um because i really like the crunchy and the the wet yogurt type thing is that right to say um so yeah love that and that's like so much protein as well the fair um what else do i like to snack on obviously apples and peanut butter could be peanut butter on toast if I haven't had um, like avocado on toast or sandwiches that day um, I love um, all like the typical like protein bars that you can think of the I try square bars my favorite just because even though they're higher in sugar it's all like natural ingredients rather than chemical stuff um, what else do I snack on a lot. Oh, I can't think. There's loads of things. I always have snacks. I have as much snacks as I can get. Um, anyway, um, so my day generally goes I work out I have a protein shake about 45 minutes after that I'll have my porridge for breakfast and then um, come sort of half 11 12 I'll have my lunch uh, which again is not it's not a huge lunch it's not like a cooked dinner it's probably along the lines of um, sandwiches or um, 
scrambled egg on toast, something like that. Um, then I'll have about three o'clock before Charlie comes home from school, I will have a cup of tea and something chocolatey and yummy. Um, and then um, for di I'll have like whatever we're having for dinner, whether it's spag ball, fajitas, whatever. And if I really still feel like something for pudding, I don't wait, I'll generally have it straight after dinner and um, I will assess, usually probably before my dinner, if I know what I'm having, I will assess the protein situation and either have protein shake, not sort of maybe an hour or so after my afternoon snack, um, or if I'm up late, I might have it before bed. Because I did read somewhere um, about having protein before you go to bed, but you'd have to look that up because... I it was just, I do a lot of reading but I can't actually remember with that one was what that one actually said but um I only drink water tea or herbal tea uh I don't drink any squash or um sodas fizzy drinks whatever um I do drink alcohol and I will love a glass of prosecco at any opportunity um if I do drink alcohol I drink a lot of water to go with it water is magic it solves every problem it cancels everything out it keeps you lean keeps your skin nice um, I can't say enough good things about water I never used to drink water before doing um BBG and getting on sort of a healthy fitter lifestyle track um, and I'm so glad that that is a habit that I worked on to create it took a long time uh, I really struggled to drink water and I would say it probably took six months plus to get into the habit of doing it but now I can't be without it it was a total game changer for me to be in a restaurant and not feel like I have to order a coke if I wasn't having an alcoholic drink it's just second nature you're in a restaurant you're out for dinner you're having a meal what would you like to drink I'll have a diet coke I, I'm I, it's completely changed my life to actually say, can I have a large glass of water, please? Because I didn't want the Diet Coke. I just didn't know what else to order in a restaurant. Order water. If you're not drinking alcohol, don't throw away, like, stupid calories on Diet Coke, which is gross. Drink water and have a glass of Prosecco at any opportunity and enjoy your food. I'd much rather have, like, pudding than Diet Coke. Like... Blech. Um, I'm feeling like this is quite an opinionated um, video and apologies if you love your Diet Coke but I couldn't drink it now um, I did drink rose lemonade the other day though and that was really nice for a treat um, so I can't be too hypocritical can I um, what else did you guys want to know about foods uh, 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 I think that's it. I think that has covered it. So, in general, to be able to lose your weight, you have to be in calorie deficit. Now, I can, my body copes really well with a blip. If I have a couple of weeks where I eat like dreadfully, like over Christmas, my body, it does show it, but it doesn't show it massively. It hasn't undone all my hard work. Everything is still there under a load of bloating but it does recover from it so much better. But to get to that point, you've got to put in the hard work first, and that means dropping your body fat, you have to be in calorie deficit, you have to be eating whole, nutritious, fresh foods, it's not about cutting carbs, or not eating after three o'clock in the afternoon, it's just about pure, fresh ingredients, as often as you can, drinking lots of water, working out, eating consistently throughout the day and if you're trying to lose weight lose body fat eating in calorie deficit and then you have to be smart you can't just continue to be in calorie deficit once you're at a place of you know you're happy with your size you don't want to lose any more weight then it's about reversing that a little bit first you want to you know maintain your calories work out up your weight as you want to build muscle you are going to have to increase your calories to build a bit of muscle so I don't you know I don't want big mass muscles so I don't massively increase my calories or anything it's just a little bit enough to make me feel like I built a bit of tone and I've sculpted my body a bit and um, but you have to feed those muscles if you want them so you have to constantly reassess your diet the stronger you get 
possibly the more food you need to eat. So um, it's a work in progress. It's not about, you know, one solution at the beginning will suit you all the way through. It's start off, get working out under your belt, look at your food, start to decrease being calorie deficit and start to look at what ingredients you're eating and then you rebuild yourself from that point. Um, but don't set yourself up to fail. Don't make it so difficult that you can't sustain it. Keep the things that you love in your diet. Just give yourself the opportunity to enjoy them by making healthy choices when you can. Um, if you're going out for dinner, if it's a party, if it's a celebration, eat all the foods, enjoy it. You know, that will be the thing that keeps you going next week through all the really crap workouts when you're dying and you don't want to do it and you think, do you know what, I had an amazing time on the weekend. The whole, this whole healthy lifestyle supports me being able to really enjoy myself. So keep it in mind that all the reasons you're doing it for um, learn to enjoy all different kinds of foods. The more you eat them, the more um, you will get used to them and the more you will enjoy them, the more creative you will get with them. Not me personally, because I'm not a creative person. Um, and the more these things will naturally appeal to you when you are out eating and it won't seem like it's a trade-off. So uh, I hope this has been slightly informative. I hope... Um, it explains the way that I choose to eat. Uh, I'm certainly not saying it will suit all of you, but you ask, you girls ask me all the time about my food choices or how I how I do it. Uh, I can't personally count calories or macros because as soon as I do anything like that, it's like my brain thinks I'm on a diet and then tells me to run to the nearest cake aisle in Sainsbury's to um, buy everything it thinks I'm saying it can't have. So I choose to not count anything. I'm a pretty smart person. I can tell if I've had meat that day or I've added sugar to things that day. I you, I have a good enough sense of what I'm eating to know um, if there's areas I can tweak or improve or look at. Um, and that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna continue to do. So uh, I've never felt more happy um, about my eating habits, more in control of them. I'm not perfect and things happen, uh, life happens, special occasions happen, holiday seasons happen and I think that's what's been the most enjoyable part is I let it all happen, I enjoy it, I'm in the moment, I'm not thinking about, you know, feeling guilty, uh, I'll just deal with it afterwards in the only way I now know how to which is just get straight back on the wagon, straight back on track, eat right, work out, live your life. If you did enjoy the video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a cheeky thumbs up um, and obviously subscribe um, if you'd like to see more content from me. Leave me a message in the comments if there's anything I didn't answer, anything you want to know about food or BBG. Uh, I have the help guide. I've used it so much for reference. Uh, I don't follow it. I just sort of take what, you know, the information that's there and then try and apply it as much as I can to my own life and have sort of grown with it. So um, it's it doesn't have to be difficult. I hope you girls feel encouraged to take control of your own diets and to make them successful for you and your bodies and to continue to eat the things that you enjoy as well as the things that will fuel your body right for those really tough workouts. Um, have a great day, uh, speak to you on Instagram hopefully, and I'll see you later, bye!